Hello, this is Bashar. In this tutorial, we are going to see how we can handle the errors in an Express application in Node.js. As usual, we have this repository right here. And previously, we have implemented the basic CRUD application. Then on top of that one, we implemented the pagination. Now we are going to implement the error handling in this tutorial. So you can clone this repository and follow the steps we are going to do in this tutorial with me. I've already cloned this repository and it's opened in Visual Studio Code right here. And if we go over the project structure, we have this package JSON and we have the dependencies of the Express, SQLite and SQLite. And we also have this Nodemon development dependency. And this start script is running the index with the Nodemon. So it is detecting the changes and restarting our application whenever it is necessary. And all our logic is here in this index.js. We have SQLize for database connection and we are creating users initially and we are creating express application and we have the endpoints for adding, getting, updating and deleting user. So if you would like to follow the previous steps, you can just check the previous tutorials and see what we have done on this file so far. Now let's start the application. I'm going to run npm start. So this was initially creating 25 users. We don't need that, that much users. So let's reduce the number, changing it to five. Five is enough. Now let's implement error handling functionality. And let's do that on this endpoint right here. Here we are getting specific user based on its ID. And here we are taking the ID coming in the request and running a database query for this ID and returning the response back. But the problem is our ID for the user object is actually a number. But in the request, we can send this parameter as string. So let's try that one first. Here in Postman, let's send a request to this endpoint. This is users and let's say the ID is one, which is a user we have in database. And here we are receiving this response. But if we type an ID something like this one, we are receiving this empty response back. Now let's implement a solution for this one. First of all, let's check if this ID is really a number or not. So we can do that control right here. Previously, we have done similar thing here in the pagination tutorial where we were parsing the, the parameters and converting them to the integer and controlling them if they are really integer or not. So we will be doing same thing right here. Let's parse this incoming ID. And if this is not really a number, and we can do that check like this, if number is not a number, this ID, if this ID is not a number, then we can return a response with the status code of 400, which is for bad request. And we can send a response body. And let's say that there will be a message in it and it's going to be invalid ID. Now let's save this one and let's send a request with postman once again. Here we are receiving this 400 bad request and we are receiving the, the message we are setting there. Now, instead of handling the response like this here in the error case, we can throw an error object. So just like this one, we can throw a new error and we can set the message like this invalid ID. Then we can catch this exception in a common function like an error handler of the express. So we can do it like this. But first of all, we have to comment this part out and removing this async from this function implementation, we will get back to it. 
So the implementation is like this. We have this route handler function and it is checking the ID coming in the request and throwing this error based on the, the if the ID is number or not. So after our route handlers, we will define our exception handler and we do that by running app use. This is a function, this use is a function and to this use function we pass our own error handling functionality and the error handling functionality is, let's define it right here, this is an inline error function. This function takes four parameters. The first one is the error, the second one is the request, the rec, the third one is res and the fourth one is next. Now if we just log the error here, let's see what's going to happen. So we are throwing error at this point and we expect this error to be logged right here. Saving this one, going back to postman, sending request. We are not receiving a response for this one because if we check the console log right here, here we are seeing this log. It is coming from this line, this line. This error handler is printing this part. So we are able to catch the error right here in this function. So in this function, we can just return our response like this, let's say we are going to return a response with the status code of 400 and we want to send a response body having a message and we can get the message from this error object. This error is containing the, that message we are setting there and we can access to it like this error message. Let's save this one. Now the application is restarted, going back to Postman, sending the request and here we are receiving this 400 bad request with the message we are setting. So let's revert our implementation here. Let's mark our function as async once again and let's uncomment this part. Let's see what's going to happen. The application is restarted sending post request once again. Again, this is stuck. We, we are not receiving the error response we are looking for. And that's happening because the, the errors thrown in this asynchronous function is not catched in this, this error handler function we set here. So Express currently does not support that. As a solution, we can send this error to our exception handler by using the third parameter of this function. Currently we are having only the request and response in our route handler, but we can have a third parameter which is next. And instead of throwing this exception, we can pass it to next function like this. So we call the next with this error and the next is this function we use here. So the order is important again. We are having these REST endpoint handlers and after them we are defining our error handling function here. So let's save this one. The application is restarted again, sending the request and here we are receiving this invalid ID with the 400 bed request. Now let's throw exception for the user not found conditions. So we are querying the table, we are getting the user object but let's try that in the postman first. So for the user 1 we are receiving this user 1, for the user 5 we are receiving user 5 but there is only 5 users and if we try to get the user 6 we are receiving 200 OK with empty response body. So let's fix this. If the user does not exist with this ID, let's return an error message back. 
and we can do it like this if there is no user let's send an error to next which is our exception handler and let's say this is this user not found let's save this and let's go back to postman sending the request here we are receiving the error message but the problem is the, the status code for this one is also 400 bed request but for the not found cases the response status code must be 404 so instead of throwing this error object we can create our exception functions so let's do that right here we can have let's say this is for invalid ID exception and this is just a function having the, the let's say this is going to include the status which is 400 and it will have the message and that's going to be invalid ID and similarly we will have user not found exception and this one will have the status of 404 and it will have the message of user not found so instead of throwing this error let's throw just the invalid exception here and in this one let's throw the user not found exception now these exceptions are sent to this exception handler and we can get the message the, they have the message fields but also they have the status so we can use the status coming with the error right here so we can say error status at this part saving this one going back to postman sending the request and here we are receiving this 404 not found but if we go with this invalid ID like this one we are receiving 400 bad requests with the corresponding message now since we are returning some generic error object we can extend the, this error object body and we can let's say return an object like this not only we have the message but we can print the the timestamp let's say we will have a timestamp of this error like this one we log the current time and let's also log the path so it will be request original URL let's save this and if we go back to postman once again sending the request here we are receiving this message invalid ID with the timestamp and the path and if we go to this unknown user we are receiving this user not found with this timestamp and with this path so that's all for this tutorial thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next tutorials